Hey, what's up guys? Smiley here with Parallel Defense. I am here with Dustin. Dustin, thank you for taking the time out to talk about what you guys got going on. So you guys know Fax has been a huge sponsor of the channel for years now. Always gonna come by and show them some love. But now they're about to show you guys some love. Go ahead and run me through what you guys got going on. So we just announced last week, just the press release just went out of us uh, announcing our new suppressor lineup. Um, so it's uh, been a lot of fun, a lot of development, trying to get everything ready for SHOT Show and everything. Uh, but uh, we have two different lineups. One's okay. going to be a subtractive, which is a traditionally manufactured can, okay. tube and cup designs. But we also have some pretty unique uh, additive, okay. so 3D printed cans. Okay. And so let, we'll start with uh, we'll start with these guys, the subtractive. So this here is the 22 can. 22 can, like the bird. Like the bird. The two can. Uh, the two can. So this is a modular uh, 22 suppressor. Is it is full auto rated uh, up to 57 and uh, like 22 mag and so on. So we're sitting at about uh, an average of 114 dB on it. Now okay. I know that isn't everything in yeah. the suppressor world, uh, but one of one of the marks that we could talk about now. Yeah. But it is modular, so you could actually take the end cap off, shrink okay. it down to a K-can size. Okay. You could put the tube back the on. and two can K-can. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what's uh, very cool about it too is you can rearrange the baffles however you'd like. Nice. It's seven, made out of 17.4, both uh, the main body components okay. and the baffles. Okay. And then the extension tube is aluminum. Okay. And then on the rifle side, we have the uh, the Corsairs. And okay. these are very much the same in that yes. traditional tube and cup design. Um, but we are getting some, some good data off of these now. The same thing, you could do an extension to them, uh, add sure. baffles and so on. And, you know, we're really trying to bring a great value to yeah. the end consumer. So are 22. Uh, these ones will be, awesome. yep. And then uh, your 22 cans are direct thread. Okay. And then you do have, uh, a, you know, a great, great street price on these. MSRP on the 22 cans are only $400. Uh, the okay. rifle suppressors, the Corsairs, are 685 Which is still like super affordable, right? We're right. seeing uh, right now, most people are averaging about eight to 1300 is where I'm seeing a lot of these cans. So yeah, depending on feature set yeah. and so on, so yeah. For 600 bucks, you get a modular can, you get hub compatibility, all we need to know is a sound suppression now that whenever we get it, but exactly. that's, that's, that's exactly. good so far. Yep, we're very excited about that. And then we have the additive can. That so, this one, correct? Yep, yep. So all these over here are additive. So this is 3D printed out of Inconel. Okay. So Inconel has some really great, um, basically strength to weight ratio okay. characteristics. Now this guy's a little overbuilt for the show. So it'll be tank. about two ounces lighter by okay. time you by the time you get it. Um, but this is unique in, in several ways. So first, people will probably ask about the shape. Yes. So in a suppressor, you're wanting to add volume, okay. right, to the suppressor. But if you add volume to a cylinder, mm -hmm. you have to add it all around, yes. right? Or you're making an oval. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what we wanted to do is make sure that our height over bore didn't get crazy big for the volume that okay. we wanted. So when you add the volume down here, we're able actually to basically stay flat with a Picatinny yeah. rail, um, but you're adding 20% more volume uh, to play with the gases. So it should be much quieter and it's at the bottom too. And yep. for you guys watching, I know you're probably like, this thing looks like a tank. It's not as heavy as it looks, yeah. um, especially with it having that much volume added to it at the bottom. People are probably like, that's gonna be a, a weight at the bottom. It's very bad. I don't see that have being an issue at all for people that are looking at these. Right, right. And now this one will come with, because it does need to be timed, it will mm -hmm. come with its own mount. Okay. Um, but it, it'll be very easy to time and, and put together. And you'll notice on this model here, this was one of the earlier ones. This one, and this will be in production, you'd have these teeth here, these grooves okay. that help you time and click it into a spot. Gotcha. Um, so those those will be coming in uh, quarter two. Okay. Um, and they will be full-blown retail yeah. at uh, uh, 850. Which is not but bad But if you either. look inside, these are some cutaways of it. Um, so I'll put it right way up. So you have several different gas paths. Uh, you have your baffle structure here, but inside of it, you have these chevron shaped cuts. Yes. That again, is another path for the air to go through, stir up the gases, be able to do more work with it. You have this middle chamber, and then this outer chamber is actually very interesting as well. Okay. Because in the bottom of the can, we're basically creating a Venturi effect. Okay. So if you look at this guy, you'll notice that you have ports on yes. the front, and on the rear. Aligned with the rear. So every time you're firing, mm -hmm. you're actually pulling new air through, you're sucking mm -hmm. air through. So it actually helps keep it cool. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's gonna keep it cool. We know Inconel, uh, 
heats up, especially with it with its properties. They're tanks and they're practically indestructible. You can shoot them all day, but at the cost of it getting hot. So having those ports there to keep it cool is going to be a really good feature when it's time to go home after right. you ran a couple hundred thousand rounds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we have our cylindrical 3D printed cans. So. The interesting thing about these is actually what makes up the baffles, mm -hmm. and it's these 3D printed cores. So it's like the, an atom, or like yeah, a science yeah. class. Yeah, people are like, this thing looks like it, you know, it, it needs to be in a fish tank. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> uh, but this is also printed out of Inconel. Okay. What's very cool is this is removable, right? Really? So well, one of the things people, you know, get concerned about is, you know, serviceability yes. on a 3D printed can. Um, this core pops right out. Now on this prototype, yeah. it's coming out the rear, but it will be coming out the, out front. the front. Okay. So when you're mounted, you could still take it out. Got you. Uh, but you know, throw it in an ultrasonic, get a brush down into the into Which the is, can itself. It's huge, right? A lot of people want, especially now with people knowing that they can clean suppressors and you know extend the life on them. People want that user serviceability. So that's right. always going to be a pro. And I think we'll see a lot more of that going forward, especially here. You guys have already done it, so you're thinking about the consumer like always. Um, so now when they're investing with you guys, they don't have to worry about shelf life because that's something that's come from some other competitors right they have this can they market it and they're like yeah it's only gonna last 20,000 rounds well when people hear a number they hear that limitation it makes them worry when you let them know hey if you clean it take care of it now it extends your limitations on it it, it gives people that warm and fuzzy right and also the course could do different things yeah. you know so we could model this that it could be more about uh suppression, suppression. than it is you know yeah, uh, back back. pressure uh, so all those things could change it. If you look at it, you know, all these are slightly different. They're just slightly yeah. different. So that's something you do on the computer. You're able to print it out, test to see if it works. So, you know, in the future, you know, maybe little kits where it's like, hey, here's your core for this that'd and here's be, your core for that. That'd be crazy. Right? And uh, same thing with, with the uh, tri-lobe, uh, you know, it, again, with serviceability, people yeah. are like, what if I have a catastrophic failure? What if I have yeah. a squib round? What, do I, what if, what happens? Well, we weren't able to show it here, but we do have a patent on how we serialize these. Okay. So say if something does happen, Yes. and I can't get into all the ins no, and outs sure, of it, yeah, yeah. but if you know how like a, a Glock has a serial number plate, yes. we basically have that patent for these. Uh, um, and so, and we'll be releasing more information about how sure. that works, but should something happen, you could send it back to us and you're not, you're having to go forever. through to yes. do a new yes. suppressor because we're able to keep your old yeah. serial. So for those of you guys that don't know, typically if you do have a catastrophic failure, some of the older design suppressors, they have to go cut it open, re-weld it. With this, you don't have to. So that's, that's, that's awesome. Correct. And then I've seen the price on this from 782. So you guys don't have any of the suppressors that are in the thousand round, which is like, no awesome for the market because people are always looking you know they want to get the most efficient but they also have budgets right so when right. you hear cans we've, we've spoken to some people they're like yeah 1400 1500 that's kind of intimidating for some people and they don't understand what they're getting here they're getting great technology they're getting user serviceability they're getting facts and brand behind them that yeah. are taking care of them with a really good cost so yeah. that's awesome and all these just like all of our products backed by a lifetime guarantee uh, so if you have any trouble you're coming to us and, and we're going to take care of you um, yeah, I do want to mention that these guys are considered flow through cans. Okay. Um, so you do have, uh, you know, very low back pressure right now, uh, up against some of the competition we've been testing against our, our flow bench ratings are great. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting, we're really on that, that topper, uh, that higher echelon of, uh, of, of that flow through and roughly about four DB quieter, uh, so far off Z peak. Yeah. So. Um, there's a lot that goes into it, right? You know, pe people say, oh, it's not just about DB, exactly. sound signature, sound pressure, Which we talk about that all the time, especially yeah. in our suppressor reviews. We tell them like, you can't just focus on one thing. If you do, you're probably just gonna get a one trick pony. You want it to do multiple things. It's not gonna do everything perfect, but if you get one that can do everything well, yeah. you'll make out with a good investment. Right, and for, you know, our timing of wanting to bring it to market, having here for SHOT Show, you know, I was with, with Bob, our president at Supplier Showcase earlier yeah. this week, and we had filed all the patent stuff yeah. or whatever. And our patent attorney came around, he was signing papers like this <laughs> week. So, so there were some things like, yeah, we definitely wanted to get it out yeah. there because we know we could go to production quickly, but there's certain things you could talk about ahead of time and can't exactly. talk about ahead of time. And God forbid something get denied and we have to go back to and the drawing to, board, yeah. right? So as we get a little closer to the launch, you know, you'll start seeing some more of that data, reviews from people like you. Yeah. Uh, but the subtractive cans will start shipping actually in quarter one. Nice. Um, and then the additive cans will be shipping in quarter two and dealers have already started to order them. So oh, yeah. I think it's going to be a, a great launch. I'm super excited. Whenever I seen you guys put the post that I was like, 
Oh, it's perfect timing, yeah. matches up, because uh, we do have a lot of people that ask you about suppressors and they just don't know. Yeah. Um, and me and Jay, we, we do our best to give it to them and I'm, I'm happy that you guys do it. And yeah. I appreciate everything you guys do for us. Yeah, awesome. my pleasure, buddy. Thank I you there, dude. You guys be paying, uh, paying attention. Faction is always taking care of us. They're always putting stuff out. So make sure you guys check them out. Y'all have a good one, stay tuned.